Well, hello and welcome to my channel. You know, um, it looks like I have a real big mess here, doesn't it? You know, I know some of you guys who watch this channel just, you know, can't paint uh, for whatever reason. So I thought I'd explore some options where you could create really cool custom figures without having to touch a paintbrush. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we're going to be putting together a uh, Black Panther uh, using just basically pieces that I got off of the, the internet. Most of the stuff comes from classic TV toys and the head comes from uh, World's Greatest on eBay. Now, you know what? You'll notice that the head is already black. You know, I, I confirmed this with the vendor and yes, the Black Panther heads are in black. So you don't have to even, you know, prime it in black. It's already, it's already set up for you. So all you have to do is just basically place it on the body. And that's what we're going to do today is we're going to create a custom Black Panther without adding any paint at all. Let's take a look at the body. This is the um, S-type body that comes from Classic TV Toys. I popped off the hands already. I actually used them for a mutant build that I had for Planet of the Apes. But um, I wanted to use these hands anyway. These hands right here are the monster hands from Classic TV Toys. And you'll notice they have like uh, sharpened nails. So that's going to be really what I'm looking at right here is using these hands in, instead of the ones that came on the, on the body. So let me go ahead and get those installed. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the body apart. You'll notice it has five screws in the back. You really only need to pay attention to these four. So I have a small little screwdriver. And let me get these screws out. You know, like a jeweler's screwdriver is probably the best option because you can spin it, like what I'm doing right here. But you know, you just really need a, a small Phillips screwdriver. And the screws will just pop right out. And this actually is the uh, hard part right here. We're creating this custom. You know, um, Mego came out with those DC superheroes right before Christmas, and boy, they are cool. You know, if you haven't picked one up yet, or the set, you know, make sure you get it. If you can, I, I've been to my local Walmart. I haven't been able to see them there. I may have to order online. I was hoping to buy from a brick and mortar, so I might go down to, um, you know, like a local comic book shop and see if they have them. So once the screws are out, it's easy to detach it from the waist. You know, there's just like a, a little ball joint there. So now that I've got this part done, I can just take the body apart. Oop. I'm trying to get the arms to stay in there. And I can place the head. You know, I'm gonna try putting this on a flat surface, maybe it'll help. So I just pop the head in there. And put the back back on. Check it to make sure that it's fitting. And I think that's it. Let me go ahead and reestablish the screws. You can see how easy that was, and it looks great already. Now, I don't know. I debated whether or not to paint the eyes, but since this is a no paint um, project, I am not gonna paint the eyes. I don't think um, I'm ever gonna paint the eyes, because, I mean, it looks pretty cool the way it is. Wait till you get the, the outfit on it, and you'll see what I mean. Let me just put that one in there. I'm not gonna tighten it, because I wanna do a, a cross pattern just to make sure that I get sides even, you know, because if you don't tighten it down well, the arms will kind of be loose and you, you don't want that. So I'm going to tighten that one down, this one down, and I'm going to work on this one. And finally the last screw. And it looks like my Black Panther is almost done. Pop them back on the body. Oh, you know what? It's so much easier if they're loose. You know, there's always something in one of my videos where I goof. But, you know, I think the hard part in uh, getting into customization is basically just getting into customization, just doing it. Now, once you get in there, you know, things will happen. You can just problem solve them.
Wow. Okay. Wow, that was easy. Let's see. I'm going to put on his bodysuit now. This bodysuit is the black bodysuit from Classic TV Toys. Little jammies with the onesie. And the material is pretty pretty nice. It's like um, elastic. Mm, this claw might be a problem. Should have popped hands on afterwards. So let me just pop that out. And they have a little snap in the back. One of the old school, um, like Mego snaps. I remember those when I was a kid. They were all on all my Action Jackson and superhero bodysuits. It was a lot easier to snap when I was a kid, though, for some reason. All right, so we're almost there. Oh, you know, I have to take the hands off anyway. Because what I have here is I have these cuffs. And these cuffs are going to go over the bodysuit. I'm trying to tuck them in too as much as I can. And then I'm going to put the hands in. That's going to give the appearance of like a, a glove. There you go. And the next part, the boots. And the cape. You know what I forgot? He has like a little bandolier that goes around his body. So these bandoliers are also on classic TV toys. Hmm, looks like it might be a little loose. Oh, that's not going to do. Um, give me a moment. I'll be right back. All right. I had an extra one of these bandoliers. And what I did was I had to cut it back a little bit. Now, let me go ahead and get you the size so that you can do your own. Okay. So you'll see that's where the ends line up. And I ended up cutting off most of this right about there. See it? And then I drilled a hole as close as I could to the uh, little pouch there. And I just used a little drill bit on a block of wood. Okay, same thing with this one up here. You're gonna knock off uh, the last two pouches, it looks like. This one was a little more difficult. This one I had to actually shave it a little bit. You'll notice that I had to take this little um, thing and kind of like shave it down. So I'd make my cut right here at the first pouch and then just shave down the, the second pouch. And then again, just drill a little hole in there. It doesn't look very fancy. But you know, it's gonna be covered anyway, so. And then the last part, let me line them up, is the cross strap. It's the same thing, I cut off the last one and then I shaved uh, this one and then cut it back a little bit. You can see. And then I just drilled a hole. So let me go ahead and get this installed. Um, it, it's a process for me and my eyes, so. Now that it's cut down a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my Black Panther. All right, the back one was like the hardest one to get done. I ended up using a drill bit that was, let's see, I've got my measuring stick here. Hmm, what is that? I can't even see. Let's see, like 3 16ths? I think it's 3 16ths. 
So that's what I used. And I used that to drill the holes. Now I had to fit it a little bit so that I could get it underneath that bandolier. So <laughs> the bandolier is like the hardest part. But everything else, pretty easy. The cape has an elastic strap. It just kind of fits over. And there's your Black Panther. Pretty cool looking, huh? So, those of you guys who, um, who don't like painting or can't paint, there are some options out there. And that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be exploring those in future videos. But let me go ahead and um, get them placed and we'll take a closer look at them. All right, here's your no paint Black Panther. See what I'm talking about with the, uh, the head, the cowl? The light just kind of naturally picks up the detail. You know, as I said, you can paint the eyes white. I'm not going to. And since this is a, um, a no paint video, we're not gonna do it here. But the cape looks spectacular. It's like a little shorter cape. I wish it were a tad shorter because in the comics when he met the Fantastic Four, it was a very, it was a very short cape. You know? But overall, it looks great. The boots, just those rubber boots are just fabulous, you know. That, uh, that uh, find from Classic TV Toys is, is, uh, is a good one. And the way I did the, um, the, the bracers here uh, kind of makes it look like a glove, right? It looks like a gloved hand. So the, those black bracers, I'm gonna use those for my Planet of the Apes too, you know, because I have some, some um, Classic TV Toys ape costumes and they come with those mitts with the, uh, the cuff. And I think that might be a better option. But yeah, he looks great. Very, very pleased with him. You know, and until Mego gets a license, if they ever do uh, for Marvel, I guess kit bashing and customizing is gonna be the only way we're gonna get our hands on guys like this. Well, until next time, you guys stay safe, be cool, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye now.